there, CrucialVacuum.comers. I'm Karen with you today, and we're gonna be replacing the belt and the roller brush on the Eureka Airspeed. Now, it doesn't matter whether you have a bagless Eureka or one with a bag, any Eureka Airspeed model, you're gonna wanna replace it with this belt and roller brush from CrucialVacuum.com. Now, as always, you do wanna make sure, step one, unplug the vacuum. Step two, we're gonna lay the vacuum down on the floor, and uh, you are gonna need a Phillips head screwdriver, and we'll get down to it. Vacuum cleaner has a little lever, and that's how you can get it to lay flat. Once that's down, I've already unscrewed these uh, screws a bit so that we can get this process rolling, but there are four screws. You wanna make sure that all four are unscrewed so that you can get this top off easily. Once you've done all four, just wiggle, comes right off. So once you've taken the top off of the Eureka Airspeed, we're gonna be replacing the belt and the roller brush. I always like to do this at the same time because if I'm gonna go through all the trouble of taking off the top of the vacuum cleaner, why not? So you have your belt. Here's our belt from CrucialVacuum.com. You can get your roller brush there too. And I always like to start with the roller brush. Put your hand over the uh, side that has the belt on it and then you take out the roller brush from the side that doesn't have the belt therefore making this side so much easier to handle. So you take the belt right off and you can find the roller brush of, uh, that'll fit the Eureka Airspeed. You can find it at crucialvacuum.com and you can search for it under part number. There you go. Crucialvacuum.com. And then the belt will just come right off of that little metal spool. We can toss this one in the trash Take our handy dandy crucialvacuum.com that's made in the USA belt. And we're gonna put it back on that metal spool, make sure it's nice and taut. You get your crucialvacuum.com roller brush and when you do have it, again, place it right there on the belt in its designated spot. And now I like to do the tougher side because that way it makes it so much easier to get the easier side in once that part has been put into place. Once it's in, Give that roller brush a spin, and once everything is nice and tight, you can take that top, put it right back into place, and start screwing those screws. All right, and once you've gotten all four screws screwed back into the top of that Eureka Airspeed vacuum cleaner, you're ready to lift it right back up. You can plug it in, and you're all ready to go. I'm Karen, and I'll see you at crucialvacuum.com.